Yo guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a brilliant day. Welcome back to Longford Town in the Premier League. In today's episode, we have three games at home to Stoke, away at Middlesbrough and also away from home, Everton. The last episode was a brilliant one. We picked up a 2-0 win against Sunderland and I can't quite remember that game if we actually deserved the win or not, but we did come away with the three points anyway. And definitely against Liverpool and Spurs, we deserved to come away with nothing, but we came away with three against Liverpool and one against Spurs and that episode actually pushed us right up to 11th place so let's see if we can build on the last episode with some more good results today starting here at home to Stoke Wheeling on the ball, but thankfully Mvita gets in the way. Can we break away from it? No, Wheeling back on the ball. Is he going to have a shot? Lays it to his right-hand side in Nimbula. Now Shakiri a strike at goal, and Skinner at his near post, making a decent and comfortable save, I'd say. Like I said in the last episode, I think it was. Keepers really shouldn't be beaten at their near post, and they're going to play it short here. Anatovic into Shakiri, Obviously going to whip it across, isn't he? Is he or isn't it? Yes, he does. It's a decent one as well, but thankfully Gorman gets it away, but it's only fallen here to Mbula. Is he going to have a shot? Plays it into Whelan. Oh, I thought that went in. Pow on the left-hand side is Tavernier for his first game, I think. I'm not sure I played him this season, but we are short on players through, not injury, but tiredness. Quite a few players are tired. Fox for his first game as well, I believe. It's a decent cross. Sinclair's under it. But it's straight up Butland. It was a powerful header. Either side of the goalkeeper, it would have caused him trouble. Imbula charging towards my defence. Plays out to the left-hand side. Nice ball into Afalai. First time to Anatovic. I mean, Stoke have started this game very, very well. I don't think they've created any clear-cut chances yet. 17 minutes in. But the football they've been playing has been undefendable so far. Tavernier with a decent turn. And he's going to go on a little run here. Going to spread it out to the right-hand side. That's a decent pass. Fox with a decent touch. Going to cut inside with him. This is good play. This is a good breakaway. Here we go. Fox. A strike. A goal from Fox. Always slicing wide. 20 minutes in. I'd say we're the better team at the moment going forward. But on the ball, Stoke have been, like I said, very, very good. Wilfred Bonny out to the left-hand side in Anatovic. What's he going to do here? He's going to wait for the overlap. No, a nice ball into Afalai. Running through the middle is Mbula. I think he has a strike. Oh, my God, Afalai. What a goal. What a goal. I have to applaud that. That was freaking amazing. Even Skinner, of all goalkeepers, Skinner couldn't keep it out. Wow. I mean, it's a powerful strike, but it's not right in the corner, is it? Should Skinner be doing better there? I'm not so sure. Oh, I'm not so sure on that one. I don't know. It's a brilliant strike. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not sure if Skinner should be doing better. But it's Stoke 1, Longford Town nil with a few seconds before the break. Tavernier on the ball into O'Sullivan. Not the best of first touches, but now through to Sinclair. Here we go. Can we grab an equalising goal straight back? Through here to Fox. First time finish from Fox. And it's a poor one. Benson on the ball, forward here to O'Connor. Can we get it to O'Sullivan? Yes, we can. Back to O'Connor. Now O'Sullivan. No, it's going to fall here to Benson. No, sure. Cross picks up. And now Afalai on the ball. Brilliant goal by him, the goal scorer. I'm not sure. I'm still undecided on whether Skinner is not at fault, but whether he should be doing better there. But Whelan now on the ball. Stoke playing some very good football. As you can see for your own eyes, Afalai, the goal scorer, on the ball again. And Mvita doing well but gives it straight to Whelan come on I'm playing terrible after the last episode I'm playing so so bad after playing so so good even though I did get dominated but I still played pretty damn good I didn't play this badly but now Stoke on the attack again Bonnie plays it on the edge of the box to Afla back to Bonnie what a strike and what a goal that was wow patient play from Stoke paid off Look at this player. Just can't defend. Every time I go to, to Stoke Man on the ball, he releases it. What a strike from Bonnie. Keeper, absolute no chance with these two, I'm going to say, wonder strikes. I may be overreacting, but Bonnie's ninth Premier League goal of the season has made it 2-0. O'Connor on the ball into Benson. Now quickly into... O no, it's Benson now. Now O'Sullivan. A strike from O'Sullivan. Decent save from Butland. I think that's his first real save of the game I've got my names middled up mud, middled up muddled up there I can't even speak at the moment but we do get a corner O'Sullivan with 
the eventual shot and here we go Benson's gonna whip it in way too close to the goalkeeper and not a red shirt in sight even near that cross and he's, he's thrown it out here that's a bit of a weird weird decision can we nick it off Bardsley we nearly do but he's got it to Athelai and oh Gorman's intercepted here we go O'Sullivan can we play it through no I'm gonna do a dummy shot and a strike from O'Sullivan no why do I keep saying O'Sullivan it's Sinclair I can't get O'Sullivan's name off my mind. I keep saying everyone's O'Sullivan, but it was Sinclair with the eventual shot, and he was kind of leaning back, and it was always going over. How long have we got left to play? 20 minutes left to play, and it looks as though, at the moment, Stoke are going to pick up the three points, but I'm still attacking and creating chances. So hopefully, if we can grab a goal before the 80th minute mark, we are right back in this game. Cameron on the ball, he turns me, plays it short into Bonnie. Is he going to have a shot towards goal and double up his tally for the game? He does, and he has killed the game with his second goal of the game with 13 minutes remaining. I have been terrible in this game, and Stoke definitely deserved this win. 3 0. I mean, look at this poor defending. So, so bad. Look, turns me with ease, and Skinner has absolute no chance yet again. 3-0, 78 minutes played. Now Bonnie has moved into double figures for the season. O'Sullivan out to the left-hand side in Powell. Can we get it through here to Sinclair? Yes, we can. Benson, oh, it's a lovely bit of skill to get past the Stoke man. A strike from Benson. It was decent. It was low. It was hard, but basically straight at Butland for an easy save. Benson on the ball, out to the right-hand side. Not the best of first touches from Fox, or the best passes, to be honest. But we are still in possession. Sinclair on the ball, overlap from the right-back. Mohawk, oh, referee, yellow card. Yellow card, but we do have a free kick, even though it's only a couple minutes remaining of the game. Is Anatovic going to pick up a yellow card? He is. We have a free kick in a dangerous area. Can we grab a constellation? Constellation? Constellation goal. I can't even talk today. I don't know what the hell is going on, but a free kick is going to be whipped in. It's a decent delivery to that back post, and O'Sullivan gets under it, and he gets under it just a bit too much. What do you guys think? Just a bit too much. That is way over the crossbar, and Butland has no worries there. There's that wonderful full-time whistle. I've been waiting for it for a while, to be honest. A dreadful game from myself. Stoke totally deserved the three points. But on to the next one we go, which is Middlesbrough away from home. Let's pick up a win and bring this episode back to life. Clayton on the ball, forward here to Bamford. Is he going to have a shot? Plays it back. Oh, Hoffman gets in the way. Brilliant interception. Here we go. Let's break away. Sinclair, good turn to his right-hand side. It's Shanahan. Going to have to hold it up and wait for support. In the middle of the park is Hughes. Going to spread the play to the left-hand side. Look at this. What a run. BT, we're going to whip in an early cross. It's a decent delivery. O'Connor gets something on it. And Victor Valdez has to dive to make a save. But in the end, it was a comfortable save. Cowan on the ball, here we go, Cunningham turned the defender, no we've not done that, but we are still in possession, out to the left hand side and Beasley, we're going to whip it across, off the ball, challenge, keeper punches, and Lidbitter, Lidbitter, Lidbitter gets it out, but Powell into O'Connor, a dummy shot onto his right foot, it's not the best, but it's got opened up a bit of space, and it's way over the crossbar, there was a off the ball challenge, when I put in that cross, on Cowan, I believe it was. I know off the ball challenges don't mean nothing in FIFA, but they really should because that could have easily been a penalty. Wilson on the ball overlap here from Shanahan. I was thinking about whipping an early cross, but I'm going to keep possession. Wilson short here into O'Connor on the edge of the box. It's a nice pass to Cunningham. Overlap here from O'Connor across the keeper on his left foot. It's a decent save. We're going to pick up possession here with Hughes. Lay it off here to Shanahan and whip it across on his left foot. It's a decent delivery. It's going to fall here to Cowan. Shoot on his left foot. It's actually going to go out for a throw in. Clayton on the ball into Darun. Nice ball out to the right hand side in Stuani. Overlap from the right back Fabio. He's got one player to aim for at the moment. More arriving. It's not the best of crosses. He could have waited for support. And Hughes, what a header that was to Cowan to stop it from getting intercepted from a red shirt. Here we go. Cunningham turned the defender nicely. Overlap. Go on, pal. Go on, pal. Go on, pal. A little dink over the top. Oh, it's worked out nicely. Here we go. Inside. Who can we find? It's Beatty into Cowan. Overlap here on his right hand side. Is O'Connor a strike? Oh, Bernardo. Oh, what a move that was, though. If that worked out, even if I did get a shot away at goal, even if it wasn't a goal, that was such a nice move. But now Middlesbrough coming forward, but McGuinness does well. 
Cowan, first time to O'Connor. No, it's Hughes, sorry. Now to the right-hand side. What a pass that is. What a pass. That was pinpoint pass. Cunningham back into Shanahan. A strike from Shanahan with the outside of his boot. Cheeky, cheeky Shanahan. Stewani on the right-hand side here. Plays, oh, nice ball into Ledbitter. Now into Bamford. Plays out to the right, the left-hand side, should I say. It's a decent delivery. Darun gets his head on it. And seconds before the break... Do they deserve it? No, they definitely don't. They've been decent on the ball. Like the Stoke game, they've been good on the ball. But going forward, they've created basically nothing. And I don't know what the hell Skinner's doing. It's basically straight at him, but he dives to his left, or his right, should I say, and he misses the ball. <laughs> I don't know what freaking Skinner is thinking, but Darun, 45th minute with his third Premier League goal of the season, makes it 1-0. Shannon with a throw on the right-hand side, throws it to Wilson. Now O'Connor, it's a decent turn away from the Middlesbrough man. Here we go, into Cunningham, back through to O'Connor. No, it's not worked out, or has it? Or has it? To the left-hand side is Beatty, a strike from Beatty. Gets blocked by Darun. Oh, what a start to the second half. Here we go, Powell's won the ball. Oh, oh, Cunningham, what are you doing? Cunningham, but we've nicked the ball away with Shanahan. Here we go, to his left-hand side is Cunningham. A strike from Cunningham, it's a decent save. From Victor Valdez, Shanahan and Cunningham. I really don't know how many times I just said their name. And I don't even know how I pronounced them correctly so quick. <laughs> I really don't know. But it's a decent save from Victor Valdez. Here we go. What a scrappy start to the second half. It's a decent delivery. Who's under it? Cunningham. And it's over the crossbar. Oh, mate. What a start to this second half. Six minutes in. And we could have been all square. Shanahan lays it off here to Wilson. O'Connor now, can we find Cowan? Yes, we can. Oh, to his right-hand side is Wilson. Oh, I was thinking about a shot, but space just closed up. Hughes, Cowan, first time to O'Connor. Now, Cunningham, can we turn and get a shot away? Yes, we can, but it's a simple save for Victor Valdez. Wow, Middlesbrough in the second half have been so, so shaky, and we should be level, but now for sure on the ball, is he going to get an attack going for Middlesbrough Bamford plays it forward here to a four shot back to his right hand side the rune a little one two and it's straight at Skinner and comfortable save in the end but it was a powerful strike either side of the goalkeeper surely that would have been two nil it was curling towards him it was going to that bottom right corner and it was curling towards the goalkeeper but a corner kick coming in it's not the best and it's an easy clearance but it's only going to fall here to Chambers lays it off the four shot is he going to turn and have a shot towards goal it's got um, Cowan. I was about to say Vita, but it's Cowan. Now Negredo. Substitute just come on to the right-hand side. Back to Negredo. And he's killed the game. He's come off the bench. Literally, I think he's just come on. And he's killed the game. Just over an hour played. It's a very good finish as well on his left foot. Wow. I didn't think he would score there, to be honest. It was quite a tight angle. But he's got it past Skinner. And I've got to give it to him. Very good finish. 2-0. Game over, I think. Hughes on the ball forward to Cunningham. Running forward is O'Connor to the left-hand side. Go on, son. Oh, is it going to get through? No, it's not. Forshaw does well. What's he going to do? He's going to play it back to Chambers. He's lost the ball. Oh, they're so lucky. They're so lucky if we got the ball there and scored from that. We'd have been right back in this game with 10 minutes remaining. Middlesbrough, you lucky, 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 lucky club. I don't know. I was looking for a word, to be honest. That's why I said lucky so many times. But, wow, they're so lucky to get away with that. So another defeat and I'm not sure if we deserve to lose this game to be honest but after the last episode I'm really surprised about how this episode has gone so far but let's get into the last game of the episode which is Everton. Let's see if we can end the episode on a high with a win. Gareth Barry on the ball for Everton. Oh, nice. Oh, I was about to say nice ball. It was nearly, it nearly worked out, but unfortunately out for a throw in. But here we go. And Vita into BT. Can we get it inside to O'Sullivan? No, we can't. Barry intercepts, doing what he does best in that midfield. Balassi now on the ball, doing what he does best, trying to get past players, and he's done it. Into Lukaku now, obviously going to be their main threat. Dow, a little dinking. Oh, it's fallen back to Dow. A strike at goal, deflected towards goal. And Skinner still has to make a save. I think it was going wide anyway, but. Obviously, he didn't actually know that, and it was so lucky the way it fell back to Dow. But corner kick, who's going to whip it in? I think it's Kevin Morales. It's a decent delivery. Keeper's going to come. He punches, but it's going to fall here to an Everton shirt. Brooks lays it off to Balassi. Turns straight into a red shirt, and can we break away? Through to Sinclair. Is it works out? No, Garner Gay does well. 
And now, are they going to break away and get an opportunity away at goal? Balassi on the ball, turns it onto his right foot. Come on, let's make a tackle. Oh, he's turned me so nicely. Got surrounded by red shirts, though, but he's found space. Lays it off to Gareth Barry, I believe it is. No, it's Leighton Baines on his right foot. And thankfully, the keeper makes a decent save down low to his right-hand side. Here we go. No, oh, Williams does well. Benson on the ball, inside to Dylan. Can we find Sinclair? First time to O'Sullivan. Back through to Sinclair. First time strike from Sinclair. Did it get deflected over? No. It was just a terrible, terrible shot from Sinclair. I think it almost went out the stadium, to be honest. But I think that's our first shot at goal, to be honest. So, 20 minutes in. Not the greatest of starts from myself. But Gorman has one possession. Look at that play. Through to Sinclair. Here we go. Turn the defender. No, Leighton Baines has done well. Uh, so frustrating at the moment. I just can't seem to break them down. Dow on the ball, lays it off to Gareth Barry, a brilliant ball out to the right-hand side in Balassi. He's going to whip it across, and thankfully, oh, it's fallen here to Morales. Poor clearance from Mvita. I was about to say, luckily, it didn't fall. There was no blue shirts around where the ball landed, but it was a poor clearance from Mvita, and thankfully, Kevin Morales slices it wide. Everton have been very good in this game. Look at the possession, top left, 67% possession. That is just insane. I just can't seem to win the ball back. Now Lukaku on the ball, in the box. Is he going to put in a cross? No. Red shirt in the way yet again. Whenever they get on the edge of my box or inside my box, they are just surrounded by red shirts, and there's just no space for them to work with. And there is the half-time whistle. Attacking-wise, it's been pretty even. I think they've had one shot with Leighton Baines, I believe it was. And we had one shot that flew way over the crossbar, basically out the stadium with Jerome Sinclair. But other than that, it's just been Everton keeping the ball, keeping the ball, trying to find a way through my defence. But at the moment, thankfully, they haven't found a way through. Dow on the ball for Everton. Are they going to get an early attack going? 48 minutes played out to the right-hand side in Balassi. Can we make a tackle? No, we can't. He skipped past me. Going to put it across. He's got a couple of players in there. Well, he's got three players in there to aim for. And one of them is Lukaku. Why wouldn't you just put it across? He's done it now. It's going straight to Lukaku. But thankfully, we're going to get this away. And we can actually break away here. Sinclair through to O'Sullivan. Here we go. Come on to the right-hand side. No, Williams. I was just waiting for a run from the right-hand side from either Sinclair or I'm not even sure who it was. But Garner Gay, Dow, he's going to play it through to Lukaku. First time strike at goal from Lukaku on his weaker foot. And what a finish that is. Wow, that was a brilliant finish. Garner Gay skips pass, plays it through to Dow. Brilliant pass. And look at that. Skinner nowhere near it. Wow. I'm actually speechless of how good of a finish that was on his weaker foot. 1-0 Everton. Shanahan on the right-hand side, going to turn back because we were going to get caught against Leighton Baines. Inside to Benson. Now Dylan. Can we find Sinclair on the edge of the box? Yes, we can. Oh, Dylan's turn. Go on, Sinclair. Run through. On your left foot. A strike at goal. No. It's a poor finish. In the first half, he hit it way over the crossbar. And that one was just too weak. Straight at the goalkeeper. McCarthy on the ball. Is he going to have a strike? He's got loads of space to work with. On his right foot. Oh, I was about to say game over because I thought that flew in. Eight minutes left to play, and I think we're going to make a triple sub because at the moment, I am getting nowhere going forward. Benson on the ball, out to the left-hand side in Powell. Right, let's get going. Cowan, make a forward run. Here we go. Into Sinclair. Right-hand side, no Leighton Baines again. Oh, my God. He is so annoying. He's getting right on my nerves. I tell you that now. Dow plays a great ball through to Lukaku. Running through the middle with Leighton Baines, I think it is. Plays it through to his right-hand side. McCarthy has killed the game. 2-0 and it is three defeats in today's episode that was a great breakaway goal if you can call it a breakaway I'm not so sure but Leighton Baines I didn't expect him I didn't even see the run from McCarthy and he played the ball through my two defenders I think it was into a little bit of open space and I was like oh my god what a pass that was and it's a great finish Lukaku plays it to Leighton Baines there look through the middle and I didn't even see McCarthy's run and it's like I said it's a brilliant finish 2-0 and it's game over Fox on the ball. Here we go. I'm just going to go on a run. See if we can get something going. In the middle here to Benson. I think it is a strike from Robbie Benson. And it's an easy save for the goalkeeper. It's official. Three defeats in today's episode. Which sucks. Because the last episode we got some brilliant results. But I definitely wasn't good enough to get anything out of this game against Everton today. Let's see what three defeats has done to us in the league table. So here is how the table stands after today's dreadful episode. We have slipped right down to 16th place and 8 points from safety. If the results keep coming like they did in today's episode, it is going to be a nervous ending to the season. West Brom are no longer top. They've played two games in today's episode so far because I haven't skipped forward yet. 
and they picked up a draw and a loss, which means Spurs are now leading the title race. In the next episode, we have Manchester United at home to kick it off, which is obviously going to be a very tough game. And then Palace away and West Brom at home, who are obviously fighting for the Premier League title. So that is not going to be an easy game whatsoever is it but as you can see there's only two more episodes coming your way hopefully we can stay in the premier league and not end this long for town in the premier league with us dropping out of the premier league but that is going to wrap up this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you in the next one thanks so much for watching guys have an amazing day peace